Please don't judge me. Hey guys, it's Serena. And for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this really cute, simple, and easy slick back ponytail, cute little side part, and some fluffy curls. I've been asked to do a lot more hair tutorials because, you know, y'all be liking the way I do my hair. I thought I was pretty basic, but you know, hey. To each their own. But anyways, yeah, I love this hairstyle, you guys. You guys can rock this to work, to school, if you're running late somewhere, to go to a party. It's literally the easiest hairstyle ever, and it takes barely any effort. So I wanted to show y'all how I do it. Before you guys finish watching this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and click that bell notification button so you'll be notified every time your girl posts a new video. Also, follow me on all my social media sites. They will be linked down below in the down bar, as well as the end card of this video. Also, yes, I'm wearing the same outfit and hairstyle and makeup, obviously, for my last video, because I filmed two videos in one day for you guys. So. Don't judge, don't judge. But if you guys do want to see this makeup look, it's already up on my channel. It's a chit chat, get ready with me. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, go to in that video. And without further ado, let's just see how you girl got this really cute hair look. Oh, cool. Alright you guys, so first starting out with this hair tutorial, I had my hair done yesterday like this, but obviously I slept in it, now I'm waking up, so I'm going to redo it again for you guys because I got a lot of compliments on it at work yesterday, so I was like, might as well do a tutorial for the girls. My hair looks crazy right now. Okay, so first I'm just going to start out with brushing my hair out. It's like a brush or a comb, whatever you guys want to use. Um, just to get the knots out of my hair. If you guys were wondering, um, I do wear weave. I have in my Kendra's Boutique extensions. It's the Brazilian Body Wave. And it is the lengths 20, 22, and 24. I'll leave the exact ones down below in a link to where you can purchase this hair. But I absolutely love it. It lasts me like a year. So I really love this hair. This isn't sponsored in any way. I wish it was. Kendra, hit you girl up. But yeah, a lot of you guys ask me where I get my hair from. So that's where I get it from. Again, I'll leave everything in down below in the down bar. My hair is washed. I washed it a couple days ago, so um, if you guys want to wash your hair before you do this, that's fine. But we're going to curl our ends of it anyway, so however you guys want to do it, this is a good style for fresh hair, and it's also a good style for hair that hasn't been washed in a while, that you want to do like a cute style to it, but you don't want to wash your hair, so this will hide all of that. Okay, so now that your hair is all brushed out, I do have some leave out at the top, but we'll get that right in a second. Um, for now, I'm just going to split my hair into two sections and start curling. I'm just using a random ass curling iron I got like years ago. I don't even know the name of the brand. A Revlon One Works, Babyless. Hot tools, whatever you guys want to use. This one's like really super cheap. So yeah, I'm just gonna use this one. I like to use curling irons with a clasp on it just because I like to clasp it, then curl around it, not exactly like curl the whole entire piece like a wand. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how I curl the ends of my hair. You guys don't need to go up too high when you're curling just because you're only gonna be having to curl the ends because it'll be in the ponytail, but go as high up as you guys would like. My hair is pretty long, so I kind of have to go pretty far up for it to be in the ponytail, but yeah, so my hair is already kind of curled from my previous um, day of wearing this style, but I'm just going to go over it a few times. And the heat protectant I like to use is the Tresemme Repair and Protect 7 with Biotin. Yeah, this is a really good heat protectant. I absolutely love it in my hair. It smells super duper good, so I'm just going to spray this all throughout my hair so it stays protected. Also, you guys, I made this smoothie. It's so good. I love making smoothies. Fun fact about me, I'm literally a smoothie queen. And that's all period. Yeah, like I said, I'm just gonna spray this in my hair and then just start curling little pieces. You don't, you don't have to curl like your whole hair, especially if it's been curled already. Um, and this is also a good style to do if your curls are like falling out um, from like a previous day and you kind of just want to refresh them. Um, so yeah, do whatever you need to do to get your hair all curled at the bottom and then we'll move on to the next step. So briefly, just to show you guys how I curl the hair, I'm just going to take it, make sure the piece is combed and has heat protectant on it. So what I do is I take my piece of hair, I start at the middle bottom kind of ish, my hair is pretty long so I have to take it kind of towards the bottom and I just wrap it around until it gets to kind of like the end of it and there's a little piece of hair out at like the very end of the curling wand and then I just kind of go up, not too far, kind of right here underneath my ear just because that's the part that's going to be in the ponytail. So I just keep it there for like a few seconds or so and then I'm just going to unclamp it um, and take it out. So I'm not burning myself by the way, obviously. I'm just checking to see how hot it is. 
you guys can wear a glove also if you guys feel kind of you know nervous about burning yourself but I've been doing this since freaking middle school so I'll be G so I just kind of take it right here hold it and I unclamp it and it's a super pretty curl you guys see that so pretty so that's basically how I do it I'm probably just gonna speed up the rest of the clips just so you guys get a like general idea of how I curl my hair and then we'll move on to the next step All right, you guys, so I just finished curling all the ends of my hair. They're all done and curled. Now I'm just going to be taking my fingers and kind of just running them through the curls just because I don't like them to be too spirally and too tight. I kind of like them to have some bounce to them. So usually I like flip my head upside down and kind of go like that jism. But ain't nobody got time for that right now. I'm sitting down, so I'm just going to take a comb or just run my fingers through it and then kind of... Zhuzh them up. Then I'm just gonna take some hairspray. This is the Dove hairspray style and care. I didn't even know Dove made hairspray until like a couple months back. So this is the extra hold hairspray in the five hold, the maximum hold. So I'm just gonna spray my hair. Once you spray your hair, now it's time to do your leave out or edges, whatever you guys want to do. If you guys have natural hair, you could just like slick back your natural hair, but I have to slick back my natural hair like leave out and my actual weave. So what I'm going to do is take this brush. It's very dirty, guys. Do not judge me. You can get it from like your local beauty supply store, but it's one of those like soft bristle, hard bristle brushes to really like slick down your hair. Black girls, y'all know what I'm talking about. But anyway, I'm just going to take this. I'm going to spray a little bit of water on it. This is just like a random water bottle. I got it from Bed Bath & Beyond, but I like it because it's not a spray bottle where it just like shoots out It's kind of like the Morphe setting mist to where it like mists out instead of like shooting out water If you get what I'm saying, but I'm just gonna be misting the hard side of the brush and then first I'm gonna start on this side It looks very ratchet So I'm just gonna start by just brushing it out just so it lays flat and it's not curly and add as much water as you guys need I know a lot of times water can make um, especially ethnic girls hair frizz up so that's why I'm only spraying a little bit and it's also kind of like a protective style for me because I'm not putting any heat on my leave out I just put heat on my weave so yeah make sure you guys do that just to keep yourselves and your hair a little bit more protected so just put a little bit more water on there and it's already flatter so I'm just gonna keep brushing it and have it however you guys like however you guys want to part it in the middle straight back I'm just doing it to the side okay so now that we have our part all done and our hair is all flat I'm gonna take my products to flatten it so first I'm taking this eco gel this is the alcohol free argan oil gel and I'm gonna take this on the hard side of the bristled brush and I'm going to flatten my hair down so I'm just gonna take some on my finger like a pretty good amount like a, a dime or quarter size amount I'm just gonna start on this side first so I do one side at a time just so I'm making sure everything's nice and nice and coated so I'm just gonna take the gel and depending on how thick your hair is you're gonna want to use a certain amount so I don't have too much leave out um, out right now but I do want to make sure it lays flat so I'm just gonna take that gel put it on this side I should have brought like a towel or something oh my god okay so now that we have it laid flat I'm just going to take my hard bristled brush and kind of flatten it out even more and you guys can add cute little edges I think I might do that later after I finish my makeup because I'm still gonna just lay my hair flat with a um, scarf I'm just gonna lay down these hairs Make sure you're really combing from the root also and just swoop them behind my ear because that's how I like them. If you guys want them in front, that's fine. Just swoop however you guys like if you want to do some cute edges and whatnot. So there, my hair is pretty slick on this side. So I'm just going to be doing the same thing with the gel on the top of my hair right here. And also get underneath that hairline. If you do have a weave, this is a really important step because you don't want to underneath to be looking ratchet. So make sure you get every single part. Okay, so once the gel is all in your hair, I'm just going to be taking a little bit of edge control. This is the Even Edge Control, the 48 hour edge tamer. I'm just going to put it on, take a little bit at a time and kind of put it around my edges just so they don't fly up or away, um, especially before I put on my headscarf. I'm going to take a little bit of this, 
put it on my edges and this is just gonna slick them down slick them down a little bit more you can also take a mini edge brush as well you can get these from your local beauty supply and kind of start to form how you want your edges to look So only really the step I have left is to put it all in a ponytail so make sure everything is nice and slick at the top and you're going to want to start slicking down these top hairs even more to get your ponytail ready so I'm just going to slick everything down and I like to put my ponytail behind my ear like that and also if you guys have, have some hairs in the front you can always slick those up I'm not going anywhere today so I don't see a need to do that but if you are make sure you get those kitchen hairs in the back and slick those up oh. take your brush brush all the hairs back into a pretty ponytail you guys can do a low pony high pony mid pony I'm doing a low pony for this look if you have any other flyaways we'll go ahead and fix those later just get the initial hairs in the ponytail at first so I'm gonna show you guys from the side how I'm doing it putting it in my ponytail you might need a few hair ties to do this so I put it in my ponytail it's looking super duper cute already the last thing we need to do is just make sure all of our flyaways are down no tracks are showing none of that your edges are fixed before we tie it up so I'm just gonna want to make sure like I have a little bit of flyaways right here take some edge control and kind of put those back or kind of slick them however I want them to look slick them holes back okay and then my very last step I'm just gonna take some of this Fantasia IC hair polisher it's just a hair oil I'm just gonna take that and put it in my ponytail and at the tops of my head just so our ponytail looks nice and shiny and not dull then take a little bit more rub it in my hand and kind of just put it everywhere on my head the top okay and then I'm just gonna take that Dove hairspray again now the ponytail is done if you guys have somewhere to go y'all can go ahead and go get ready for work school wherever you have to go um, but I just like to fluff it up just a little bit just to tease it up and make it a little bit more fluffier and then I'm just gonna take my head scarf because I'm doing my makeup after this so I'm just gonna take my head scarf and wrap my hair it's just a regular like bandana that I put in half I'm just gonna put it oh there's makeup on it Ew. oh well I'm just going to put it right on top of my hair and edges and just tie it in the back underneath my ponytail you can leave this on for about 10 to 15 minutes but I'm just gonna leave it on my entire time I do my makeup and yeah so that's basically it for this hairstyle I'm gonna do my makeup I'm probably gonna film a get ready with me so you'll have two videos you know <laughs> um so yeah I'll be back to show you guys the final look of my hair and any last minute touches we need to do to it after I finish my makeup so stay tuned all right you guys this is the end of my cute hairstyle ponytail slick back video I really hope you guys enjoyed this video I kind of want to start doing more hair tutorials on my channel so if you guys want to see more hair tutorials let your girl know down in the comments below before you guys leave this video be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also click that bell notification button to be notified every time you're gonna post a new video you can't forget to follow me on all my social media sites like <laughs> that would just be illegal so if you don't want to be arrested no I'm kidding so make sure you guys go follow me on all my social media sites they'll be linked down below in the down bar as well as obviously the end card of this video I love you guys so so much and I'll see you guys in my next one all right, bye guys.